All right, guys, today we're at a part of the river in Tier C that holds water year round because they dam it up right here. And they stock trout here throughout the winter. About every other week, they stock a, like a thousand trout in here. And what we're going to start out throwing today is this little Joe's fly. It looks like this. But the problem with it is that it has no weight on it. So we added a little split shot about eight inches above the line or above the, the lure. It's pretty cool though. It, uh, it, of course it has a treble hook and then it has another little single hook above that. And then it's just a blade, no weight. So hopefully with the split shot, we can cast it out pretty far, far enough. I'm really excited today because I've come up here the past couple years and the water is really dirty, like chocolate milk. But now, for some reason this year, it's really clear. Of course, we're going to be using our net from NetCheck. These things are cooler than your average trout net. It's rubber to protect the fish. It's got this lanyard for your pliers, so you never lose those. You can get a lost and found label on here with your uh, name and phone number in case you leave it somewhere. It's got a really nice handle on it. And of course it it folds up so you can transport it even easier and then you can whip it open with one hand real quick when you need to. But yeah, if you like them, I'll leave the link in the description below. And you can even use a discount code NM Fishing to save a little bit of money on it. So enough talking, let's cast out there and see if we can't catch some. Oh, we got him. He hit it real close to the bank. I came off. I don't know about these Joe's flies, the hookup ratio. We had one on over there and he came off like instantly. And then this one came off right at the bank. We had pressure on him. Oh yeah, we got him. Please stay on. Ooh, that was a good jump. Please stay on. This one's not real big. Ah! He popped off right as I went to grab the net. I don't know. Well, at least we're getting action. We're just doing quick releases is all. We got him. Let's see if we can't land him. 
get in the boat. Got the first one landed in the net. We've lost like three or four of them. Settle down. Got him unhooked. Going back. There he goes. Let's tie on a silver cast master. See how that does. Most of my bites came from the right over here, so we're gonna keep casting over here. And we got one. Oh, he's, oh, he jumped. Oh, he's jumping. I thought he came off, but we still got him. I told you that's where most of my bites came from. Ah, damn it. We go to grab the net and he comes off. But first cast with the cast master over there, we nailed one. Just too much line now? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Here, you do it again. Yeah, mainly watch my hands, man. I'm yeah. I usually grab it here by the eye, yeah. and whenever you pull it out of the water, you pull your hand forward. And oh, it's all okay. one motion. Then let it go. Let it go. Sure. You can go ahead and reel it in if you want. Yeah, I guess it's going to take some getting used to. I bought that pole. Oh, no, I didn't buy that pole. My first pole I bought at Walmart, a three-piece, kind of like this one. Yeah. Two pieces are better, but this one right here is a three-piece, and they're pretty sturdy. Yeah. For like 40 bucks, man. All right, guys, I wasn't too good at the my first time at a fly rod, and uh, they quit hitting spinners and stuff, so... Now we're going to try a little honey worm on a 32nd ounce jig head and above that about I don't know 15 16 inches we have a little uh, cheap Walmart bobber and we're going to let this float around and maybe give it some pops and see if we can't get bit. All right, guys, they only bit the honeyworm twice and both times let go. So we're going to put an actual night crawler on here.
Damn it, we ripped it right out of his mouth. Damn it. He was chasing, he was right there. Give him a little bit of slack so you can get a bite. Are you just keep pulling? Yeah, pull, like use your finger as a oh. this finger, hook it there. And then just pull him in. Should get a decent bite out of him. Let's we'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not really fighting right now, but. No. Oh, yeah. This stuff feels good, though. Because the rod's so flimsy. Yes, sir. And then at what point do you start to reel? Uh, I never reel. Oh, okay. Unless I'm bringing it in. But that's it, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, my new friend Evan let me bring in a fish on his fly rod. That was pretty cool. I'm going to have to master the art of it. But till next time, guys, uh, me and my friend Emiliano are going to go uh, to the other spot I caught that walleye at. And we're going to use some minnows. So hopefully I can make a good video over there.